Hey guys, what's going on? JPiz here, and this is going to be my first tutorial on how to make a mob spawner with a skeleton or zombie. This works for both. But first, you want to locate your mob spawner, and I'm playing on peaceful right now, so it's going to be mobs, but you want to light up your mob spawner if you're on normal so the mobs don't spawn and it's easier. So once you found it and you lit it up, you're going to need uh, a compass to find your way back home, some food for just in case you need food, uh, some tools to kill the mobs, a uh, pickaxe, uh, torches, and some wood. Okay, so once we have all that done, you want to, don't remove these torches, keep those on for your world. I'm just going to measure how long it is. We want it four in all directions, so four from the mob spawner to be a nine by nine room nine by nine room so uh... once you have measured it out and you want four in all directions so you want to take one out over here take that wall out and take this is only two take two walls out over here and so do the same thing on that side and this side so i'll be back once okay, uh, I have once you have removed four blocks from the spawner and the wall so it's all four blocks you want to make sure it is three high, like if it's like mine and there's sand above it or nothing, just put a wall up above it and that, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Just put a wall up above it and then once you're done doing that, I'll be done quickly. Make sure the whole thing is four blocks long. Alright, we'll just keep that out. But okay, so you have the whole roof, it's four by four, the room's nine. There's four blocks of air between this. The room is nine by nine. You wanna dig two blocks down from the spawner in all corners. So it will be two blocks down the whole thing. And I will come back once that is done. Okay, so once you have dug dug two blocks down from the mob spawner, so the wall is five blocks high you're going to need to get water buckets two water buckets and place one water bucket in the corner and the other water bucket in the other corner and as you can see the water flows like this you want the whole water to go down so remove all the blocks that I'm removing right now as you can see I'm not very good at tutorials so just follow along as I do once you removed all the blocks like that, remove the blocks underneath the water like this. Now it should be one current, one flowing of water. So I will show you what I mean when I get up here. When the mobs spawn, they will all be dragged by that water to that one point as you can see all the blocks go to that center point that is good okay so once you do that to dig out dig in three blocks okay so once you do that get some water buckets and fourteen signs preferably four water buckets is better but you can have more it's all Depends on what you want. Okay. What the hell? I don't understand how that happens. There's no fucking skeletons, but okay. So you you put four water buckets in the corners, and you just want what you want to get them back, and I just dig a little hole here, and then put one in the corner, and the other one in the other corner. So now you've limited the water source, and now what you want to do? Put one sign right here, one sign right here, one sign right here and let the sand drop alright so if yours isn't like this keep going until you have one sign left and once you have one sign left that no, you know that you're at the top and you don't have to go any higher so just keep going like this putting water down putting the sign it is annoying but it is worth it Sign, water, sign. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, now you have put down all the signs except for one, and you have one left over. 
and you put your water bucket, you just want to go back down and uh, see where the you just want to make sure you put all the signs on this side also just so it's it's just th that much easier especially if you're underground okay so you have all your signs on this side going up you want to put the drop zone right in the back of it so what I want to do since I did all the signs like this or you could just walk in go like this and go up and it will be perfectly uh, down and it will just be perfect just to clear up something why this spawner keeps changing from pig to a skeleton it's because uh, I went into creative mode once just to spawn in like two more buckets because I wanted the process to go faster and uh, I don't know why it's just a little glitch but once you save and quit the game it'll go back and I'm not in creative mode right now okay so let's go up it and start building the drop zone once you put all your signs down okay So right here is directly the back side of it, or, yeah, I guess. So you want to dig in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you've dug in four blocks and the water's flowing this way. You want to place a sign on the fourth block. Just keep that torch there for you guys. Uh, dig down one. Then take this wall out and dig down another one. Yeah, I just. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. One, two, three. Yeah, I dig it down. Okay, so now we're going to do Okay, so you guys have this right now. And you guys want to go down 23 blocks, and that will match up perfectly to our uh, little elevator up. So right now we've dug two blocks. One, two. So just put one, two right there, and then dig straight down. This is made out of cobblestone because uh, mine's peeking out of the ground a little bit because it's so close. So that's why it's made out of cobblestone, just a little barrier. So right now, oh god, I hit sand. That was just two pieces, so now we're going to have to count. Oh, well, this might If this happens to you, just start counting. Okay, so we're at 16, 17, 18, 19... 20, 21, 22, 23, right here. Okay, so this is where it is, and this is where you dig a little bit. Let me just get a torch. So you do something like this, and then uh, dig one in, and your water is right here. Okay, so they're going to drop right here, 22 blocks, that will not kill them. Just uh, not that, do not do that. You want to just put a little wall on it, right there. No, my god. Right there. So now the mobs cannot uh, escape. So you just hit them and it'll do fine. Okay, so that is the mob spawner part. And now we're going to turn it on and see if it works. First thing I want to say before I start and turn on the mob trap uh, to make the mob trap more efficient and uh, so you hit the skeleton or zombie every single time take these two blocks that I just took out so uh, it makes the uh, dropping zone a little bigger and one skeleton or a zombie or a mob uh, falls down and then as it builds up some will get pushed back there some will stay here so as you hit them sometimes if it's just one block if it's just a one block like this you you don't wanna always hit them every single time you can hear it but if you open it up like this the mobs go back and then every single time you will get hit and you will kill the mobs faster and more efficient so that is a good thing okay so let's go ahead and turn the mobs up on mob trap on I just had to go on uh, difficulty because I was playing on peaceful before so mobs didn't interrupt my video okay you just gotta take all the torches out and uh, fill up the mob spawner like I'm gonna do right now alright let's delete those all the light should be gone. Oh, there he started spawning. Yeah, just run away at this point. You don't want to get attacked. All the light. Okay. And there we go. Our mob spawner is complete. And now let's just. Oh wait, we didn't do the water. Derp. Alright. Let's 
go back on peaceful for a second. Sorry about that, guys. I knew I was forgetting something. I just knew it. Ooh, fail. I just knew it. You have to put these water in the corners. Totally forgot. So I just pull in there and pull in there, and then your mob trap should be ready. Should be ready to go. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks like all the water is flowing. And we're gonna get up there once this water starts pushing me. How are we gonna get back up? Ladders. I don't get that. I, I'm I'm peaceful, and somehow I get hit. It's happened twice before. Okay, let's just climb up this and uh, keep this hole there just in case we have to go back down so that's always a easy easy way to go back down alright don't forget to bring food oh god that was eating don't forget to bring food you're gonna need it especially down in this mob trap and you're hitting the mobs it's gonna drop like, lower your health a lot uh, or your hunger so a good thing to do is especially if it's skeleton one um let's just put it on difficulty I just want in uh, especially if you have a skeleton one, you can. Uh, they also drop. They drop bow and arrows, as you guys know, and arrows. So uh, you can um, uh, use a bow and arrow, and that doesn't drain out your health so much or your hunger. Uh, so that's also cool. Okay, so let's just wait for these guys to come. You can also make this room bigger if you want. Just like a little storage area, bring some chests, and uh, as you can see, this this particular mouse spawner is. This uh, XP farm is pretty, pretty good. Cause uh, right now I'm standing. Why did he die? Oh, that one didn't. He must have jumped. Like the always, the first one always dies for some reason. But uh, if you get too close, they will hit you. That's kind of annoying. But so if you're gonna be AFK, just uh, sit back here, two blocks away or one block. Just uh, don't sit up right here, cause they will hit you. But uh, about this model, they spawn in like a. 20 something or something like that 20 block radius but right now we are in, in the 20 block radius and so it's spawning and spawning and uh, they are one hit kill as you can see and uh, you can rock and roll the XP but the only thing about the two drop thing is that you don't get all the XP so you can just make something like that just to get the XP and as you can see they're one hit K and that's pretty pretty nice so thank you for watching this uh XP farm tutorial. This is not mine. I found it on YouTube, obviously. I did not make this, so don't give credit to me, but I did make the video, and I just wanted it to be on my channel, just so I had an XP farm, just in case one of my subscribers wanted to know how to make an XP farm. That is pretty efficient in my Let's Play right now. This is in my Let's Play, and uh, I'm going to be using this a lot, because uh, I'm going to be enchanting those items, or those uh, picks, whatever you want. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please give this a like, a favorite, uh, comment on the video if this helped or if you have any questions uh i'll be sure to an i'll be uh i'll answer them if you want and uh thanks for watching and uh see you guys later peace out